Lord, we need your grace and mercy. Yeah. We need to pray like never before. Lord, we want.
Jesus Christ can never 
be pleasing to the world. Let's look at the scriptures, Matthew 23, from verse 34. What we have read now. And from the topic of the topic that we are going to look into this evening. And discover or realize that yes, the salvation of the message of Jesus Christ can never be pleasing to the ears of those who don't want to know the truth. Yes, they have ears. Yes. So to what is the preaching. What that is your to us. But yet they have in their hearts. And why is it so? Because it is not pleasing because he is teaching nothing but the truth. That is why even in our days today, anywhere you see that the truth is being taught in such a place, the crowd will not be there. Peace be on 
to you as my father has sent me, even even so sent us. Jesus telling the disciples. And they should not be afraid. The killing of the prophet will not stop. For the same way that the father has sent me, he is also going to send them that way. They should not be afraid of the killing at all. Don't forget. 
the attackers he will give to preach the true gospel. We are so privileged that we are under a ministry like this, that the true gospel of Jesus Christ be preached. So don't look down on yourself.
they, sh they shall put you out of the synagogue, yea, the time comes. What that whosoever killed you will think that it were God said. And the disciples that they should not be discouraged. That they should not stumble. That they should not stumble. There's a time to come where this killing will continue. Because these people are evil. And they are not ready to change. And Paul the Apostle also, as he was continuing his preaching, in Acts chapter 14, verse 19. Acts chapter 14, verse 19. And they came to that, setting to it from Antioch and Iconium, who persecuted the people, and having stoned Paul, drew him out of the city, supposing he had. These people said that, ah, as he's preaching, they threw those police, disturbing them, they stoned him. That the great multitude, both of the Jews and also of the Greek, believe. Verse 2. But the unbelieving Jews stand up the Gentiles and make their mind evil affected against the brethren. So many gave their life to Christ. The Jews and the Greek, they believe. And these are hindrance. Oh, my God. 
in the hands of this side ring. In Acts of the Apostles, chapter 7. Also receives the Holy Ghost as your fathers did. So be preached of the prophet, have not your fathers persecuted. And they have slain them, preached you before all before of the coming of the just one, of whom you have been now the betrayers and mothers, who have received the law by the expulsion of angels and have not kept it when they heard the saints. They were caught in their heart, and, and they marched on him with their teeth. Yeah. After Philip have preached to these Israelites, yeah. oh, they received the Holy Spirit completely. Yeah. In verse 15 of that chapter 7, yeah. and, and cast him out of the city, and stoned him, and the witness laid down. He had clothes as a young man whose name was Saul. The picture of Stephen. What next? He decided to stone him. And they stoned Stephen to him. These people, that's why Jesus told them that they have been killing prophets in their synagogue. Christians, affliction, which came unto me and Antioch, 
as I call him, an extra. What persecutions I endured, but out of them all, the Lord delivered me. Yea, and all that live for me, Christ Jesus, shall suffer. The men of Paul here to Timothy. Hey, well, you're wrong. You're to Paul to Timothy. Leave me by. Said you were a witness when I was suffering in Antwerp, in Iconium, in Israel. You were there.
whatever we gather, mostly in retain, in retain time. Yeah. 
just made. It's going to be terrible. Just many of those killers of the prophet will come before, be, before them very soon. They will suffer for those their wicked deeds and those their evil deeds. They will suffer dearly. And in number 35, it's in the case of the first mother of being mentioned there.
Pasti Tuhan jadi. Suka juara ribut di semua. Suka juara itu juara di lomba kulo. Asli ribut di semua. Juara di mana tu ribut kulo? Bukan juara di kordi kita. Oh, juara di ada di ada di lomba siapa? This time that the word of the Lord came unto them through Jeremiah. Suka ni kan kita cakap orang cakap cakap. Oh, cakap orang tu orang tu dem through Zakaria. Christ on this road. He told all the people, he told the multitude, including you and I. Saul received power to destroy the 
Christianity. Because that was the seat of power. In the Acts of the Apostle chapter 8, verse 1. And Saul was consenting unto his death. And at that time, there was a great persecution against the church, which was at Jerusalem. And they were all scattered abroad throughout the regions of Judea and Samaria, except the apostles. Acts chapter 9, verse 1. Still in the case of Saul. And Saul yet breathing out, threatening and slugging against the disciples of the Lord, went on unto the high priest and desired of him letters to Damascus, to the synagogue, that if he found any or of this way, whether there were men of, or women, he might bring them down unto Jesus. Saul received certificate to go and destroy the Christian. So that tells you how powerful Jerusalem is. As the seat of power. But because these people have refused to adhere to the true gospel of Jesus Christ, Jesus told them that same Jerusalem will fall. Because the people are so hardened. In 2 Chronicles chapter 36, verse 16. But they mocked the messengers of God and despised his word and misused his prophet until the wrath of the Lord had was against his people. Till there was no remedy. They have refused the words of the prophets. Go 
all our fun fair. You better do it with that kind of mindset. If not, you will be left desolate. Enoch, who has said something that is related to this. 
14. June 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 14. So Christ has said all that he has to say. But his people never say to the one to change. He said, Told them plenty, Jerusalem will fall. Whether they like it or not, Jerusalem will fall. He has prophesied and as he has said.
Yeah. 